Hey everybody, welcome back to Royal Tamar Readings. <coughs> this is my fun channel that I do for Tamar Readings on the Royal Family. All information presented in this video is for fun and entertainment purposes only. It's fun, it's tarot. I'm just a gal with cards. Okay, as you can hear from my voice, I'm still, I'm chills trying to get, trying to get there, but I really wanted to do this reading today, so I just thought I'd go ahead and go for it. As a lot of you know, I've been out sick since um, last Thursday or Friday. It was, ugh, I've never been so sick, but um, I'm much better now on the mend, <clears throat> just trying to get my energy back and my voice, apparently. <laughs> so, what I would like to do today, as I've been only in the past day or two getting caught up on everything that's been going on, the the cat the, the photo of Catherine, um, the fact that she uh, has put out a statement saying that she that she's apologizing for editing the photo, which I have opinions about anyway, which I'll go through in a minute, and then the response of the press, which I'm really disappointed with some of these the press out there, some of the British pre the Br British press and the American press, some channels I actually now refuse to watch anymore because of the, some of the things that they've said, as if this is really any of their business, okay? What she does on Photoshopping, if she wants to, you know, fix up a sleeve or, or you know, fix up a child's finger, I mean, what the F? Who the F cares? It's not like she uh, photoshopped her face, you know, to try to say, oh, she's got like 15 scars on her face and she's going to edit it out because that's what happened to her. That's just so ridiculous. I'm just, I'm so, that's just like, seriously? Anyway, it's my personal opinion. The other thing that I thought too is, um, you know, we've always had the never complain, never explain uh, mantra from the royal family. We have had that for decades. That's just the way it is. That's the way they want to play. And that's the way it's always going to be. So why did Catherine make a statement that is so uncharacteristic? It is. Honestly, it doesn't ring true for me. So, um, personally, I think she's covering for someone. And if she's falling on her sword, that's... I, I am not surprised if she's falling on her sword for someone. So, anyway, my personal opinion. But what I'd like to do today is I want to do um, an Ankh spread. And this is a spread where the cards are in the shape of an Ankh, which is the symbol of life in Egyptian um, hieroglyphics. And um, let's take a look at how this situation even got here. Now, personally, I, I, I have this new tarot deck called the Astro Matrix. I feel like we're in the Matrix, okay? Catherine supporters are on one side and Megan supporters are on the other. Do you want the red pill or the blue pill? And I don't care who you pick for what color for each woman, but that's where I feel we are and that things change on the flip of a switch. So... I thought this was the perfect deck. I was within a hairbreadth of, of using another deck, and I saw this one, and I said, no, this is the this is the one I want to use, because I feel like we're in the matrix. So, anyway, here we go. Let's take a look. All right, so we have the Astro Matrix Tarot deck. This is actually a new one. Who is it by? Don't think... Oh, here's the artist here. Hang on a second. So this is the Astro Matrix. So the artist is... Um, Gusti made Adi Kurniawan. Kurniawan? I'm not sure how it's pronounced, but that, who's, that's the artist who made it. Um, and there are lots of interesting um, graphics on the, this tarot deck, so hope you enjoy it. First time I'm using it. So, once I get the cards out, we'll use the cleansing bell. I've got some new cleansing candles. And I see my little crystal elephants here I need to be lined up because I'm like that. Okay, there we go. All right, so we're going to use the little cleansing bell. We're going to cleanse the energy of the deck. It has been cleansing for quite a while. I've had this deck probably for a couple weeks, but because I was sick last week <laughs> until yesterday and today, I haven't used it yet. All right, so we're going to go ahead and go. Let's find out what in the world is going on with this whole photograph. What's the energy behind it? How did, it, how did, how did we get here? How did, the, how did the royal family get here? How did Catherine get here? What's the, what's the triggering factor behind it? There are always two. What's the past energy on it? What's the current energy on it? What's the true meaning? What's the next step? This, these are all parts of the Ankh, so I'm, I'm going to ask questions as they are presented in the Ankh. And then um, 
What's the necessary conclusion? What's the surprise along the way? I'm always interested in that card. And what's going to be the final outcome of it? So this is what we're going to be asking from our Astro Matrix Tarot deck. Astro Matrix Tarot deck. Please, universe, tell us what is going on. Everything you can tell us about what's going on with the energy behind this photograph. How did we get here? How did we get here? Oh, okay. Good. The front, you're starting to talk to me. Sometimes the first tarot deck will take a little bit of time before it actually starts talking. Give you a couple more shuffles. Sorry for the background noise. Yeah, my husband's got some buds over. So. Alright, I'm not really getting anything out of it. Let's see if we can get a little bit of action out of it here. Oh, there we go. Let's see what flew out here. Ooh, the magician in reverse. Okay. That tells me it's trickery. Trickery is going on there. All right, we're going to go with this one here. All right, we'll go ahead and cut. Make sure I press the play button as I did. There we go. This deck's a little stiff because it is so new. All right, so the way the onk spread works, in case you have not watched me do this particular spread before, is we've got gibbering factor one and two, the past energy, the current energy that got us here, the true meaning, and the way this works is it's supposed to actually, all well, these cards are so big, it's supposed to make the shape of an onk. And then we've got the, um, the next step, the uh, necessary conclusion, surprise along the way. Sorry, this is going to get down here at the bottom here. And then the outcome. Oops. All right. You won't be able to see the onk shape so well. Actually, maybe if I put it up like this, you can do it. All right. <clears throat> so I've got, I should have nine cards. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. And then our underlying energy is, okay, the two of wands. Ooh, justice in reverse. Ooh, and temperance in reverse. Oh, my goodness. We have a lot of underlying energy here. Okay. <clears throat> so the two of wands. All right. So this is about... The Ace of Wands is about a new idea, and the Two of Wands is now you've got a decision to make. You're deciding which way you're going to go. Um, many, many, many things available to you, many avenues available to you, and now you're choosing the way that you're going to go. Justice in Reverse is about an injustice, something that isn't fair. And Temperance in Reverse, Upright is about angelic energy, and in Reverse it can be about the opposite, of course, devil energy, or a lot of other ways to read it are balance and imbalance. So we'll keep these in mind as we go along here. I may have to take little pauses every now and then. I still don't have my energy back, so. Whew. Okay, so um, the, what's the triggering factor? What is the first triggering factor for this whole episode? The Queen of Cups in reverse. This typically represents Diana. The Queen of Cups upright is about very um, uh, healing, caring, emotional, loving energy for a very powerful woman. And in reverse, it, it represents Diana because in reverse it means she has passed. Um, if it doesn't represent Diana, then it, it tends to mean um, that someone is now unemotional and uncaring and not emotionally connected. But right now, the energy is telling me that this is this is Diana. And that there was a, a plan made. There was a plan made to try to emulate Diana. Because things weren't fair and things were out of balance. Okay. We're going to see where this goes. Uh, typically, with this spread, the story will come to me as more cards are revealed. So the first triggering factor was Diana. Of course, Princess Diana. Um, and then, what was the next triggering factor? There were always two. Oh, the King of Cups. This typically represents William. It looks like Prince. <laughs> That's so funny. I love Prince. 
Um, okay. So perhaps this is Diana and William, and he was feeling very emotionally connected to his mother. And that's what started the, the whole episode of the photograph. All right, so where I think this is going is I think that um, William felt like he was back in the situation where there was mother being picked on, always being talked about, always being um, criticized, and he was there watching it. Okay? Um, and he feels like he had to make a plan. He had to make a plan and because he felt an injustice was going on and everything was out of balance. There was just a, a horrible energy surrounding uh, everything that was going on. He, he felt like he was back in this world where his mother was attacked by the press and he, he had no, he, he, uh, all he could do was watch. Okay. Oh, I got goosebumps. Okay. I think that's it. All right. So what's the past energy on, on how we got here? It's the past energy. Like these are the triggering factors and this is a past event that just said, okay, this is what's, this is how, what's going to cause the situation. Ooh, the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so this is about um, lots of choices. Or, uh, not choices. Okay, um, so this is actually about um, trying to invest in the future. Persevering despite the odds. So this would be focusing on your long-term, focusing on your long-term goals and setting your plans accordingly. So the success of your short-term goals affirms your long-term vision and what's going to happen. How interesting. So this is where you know you ha you know where you want to go and you have to make some short-term goals to get there, which makes sense. Okay? So this is where we're saying, okay, we have to combine it with our underlying energy. So now I have a long-term goal of stopping this situation and making a plan to do so because everything is very unfair and in, there's an injustice going on and the energy around everything is, is very dark. It's out of balance. It's not fair. Very interesting. Okay. This is also a Saturn card, by the way. Your little symbol here is Saturn and you've got Mars. Saturn and Mars. And of course, Catherine is a Capricorn. All right. Okay, so this was uh, this was the the um, the the past cause of it. Now, what was the current cause? What was the current factor that said, "Okay, we're going forward with this"? The Nine of Cups. Ooh, this is a Jupiter energy here, and Uranus. All right. So the Nine of Cups. This is about wishes and dreams, your your hopes and dreams, wanting your hopes and dreams to come true. Oh, you know what? Actually, it's Pisces. So we have Jupiter and Pisces here. Okay, so this is about um, this is about trying to follow your intuition for your best choices, trying to make your hopes and dreams come out true. And this is about also feeling satisfaction. So, okay, so this the the current the current event that set this whole thing into motion was the plan was made, and they were feeling very satisfied that this plan was going to work just fine. Because they wanted to correct the injustice and they wanted to um, get things back into balance. Because people were attacking. It, it's like it's like he was back in the time when they were attacking his mother. And all he could do was watch and not do anything about it. So he made a plan. Made a plan and said, I've got some short-term goals and this is what I'm going to go for. And now I feel really satisfied with this idea. Okay. Interesting. What's the true meaning? What's the true meaning of this whole episode? The Eight of Cups. Oh, oh my gosh. Wanting to walk away? Okay, so this is, um, this is do I stay or do I go? It's like, what do I do here? This was all about what do I do? Am I going to walk away from this situation? Or am I going to, am I going to see it through? That was the true meaning. I think, um, I, and I don't see Catherine's energy here yet, 
But I think that um, this is Catherine. This, this is what she's feeling. Everyone's hounding me about how I'm doing. Everyone's, you know, trying to get me to put a picture out. Everyone's wanting me to make a statement. Everyone wants me to go ahead and, and come forward and I'm not ready. So what do I do? Do I stay or do I go? Do I just stay at home here? Or am I going to go ahead and, and, and put something out there? Or even... No, I don't think it's walking away from the royal family. It's absolutely ridiculous. But this is, um, this is what do I do with this situation? Which way do I go? Okay. Interesting. So what's the next step? Now that this whole fiasco has come out. Oh, you know what? I forgot to put the underlying energy in here. Okay, so do I stay or do I go? Do I go forward with this plan that we have? I don't think she was on board with this plan. I don't think she was comfortable with it. I do not think she was comfortable with it at all. And she knew that there was an injustice and everything was out of balance, but she was like, I don't care. I, I don't want to do this. I don't think she wanted to do this. Goodness. Okay. So, um, what's the next step? Now this whole fiasco has happened. What's the next step? Ooh, Seven of Swords in reverse. All right, so upright, it's about a thief in the night, uh, someone taking something from you, um, lies and trickery and deception. And in reverse, it's about trickery and lies and deception being revealed. This upright, it's about people trying to get away with things. And in reverse, it's about not getting away with it. So it could be one of two things. Either, and it can't be, I mean, it, it, we already know that they didn't get, you know, they didn't get away with the, the Photoshop editing. We already know that. So this is the next step, the next step they're going to take. So this is going to be, you know what, they're going to talk, I think they're going to reveal why this was done. I think they are going to, I'm so surprised. They never explain. But I guess they figure since they have explained, they need to go ahead and explain some more. They're going to explain exactly what was going on behind all that editing. You know, well, I've wanted to fix Charlotte's sleeve. Or if she even did it at all, if someone else did, they may explain what happened. Maybe it was some, uh, you know, junior people who were trying to just clean up the photo. She may have fallen on her sword. Sword. She may have fallen on her sword to cover for them instead of letting them take the blame. <laughs> Because um, as I understand it, a lot of these, these people who are in um, the royal in, household, I mean, especially in the um, IT and editing section, um, they're very new. They're usually just out of college. They're, that's according to Neil Sean, something I saw from him today. So if that's the case and someone just, you know, was trying to clean up stuff and didn't realize what a brouhaha was going to come out on this, she may, have, she may have fallen on her sword to cover for them instead of them getting fired or be publicly humiliated um, because they may explain that they had this plan to put the picture out because they felt that they were being unfair to Catherine, things were out of balance, and they were they I think they're going to reveal more about what was behind the editing. I think they're going to make another statement about it. I think so. That's the next step. All right, so what's the necessary conclusion on this? What's the necessary con or necessary conclusion? Yeah. Oh, the Six of Pentacles. Oh, being, okay. So this is about uh, reciprocity, being generous, giving and receiving. I think they're going to try to get that balance back that I'm giving this and you give me that. We need a balance here on how things are handled in, this, in these situations. I think they're going to have a come to Jesus moment with, uh, with the press. Even though this is about money and everything. Oh, okay. Oh, my goodness. I think that what they're going to say is, look, if you want to keep making money off of our photographs, you better, you better give us a give and take. You better not come and be so harsh when we're trying to satisfy what it is you want, you want to make money off of this stuff, you give to me, I'll give to you. Quid pro quo. That's what this is right here. The necessary outcome. 
because of the plan they had trying to correct the injustice and to get the balance back in, they're going to say to the press, look, you want to keep making money off of us? You better give us something too. We give you something, you better give back. Ooh. I think there's going to be some very, um, very intense conversations that are going to happen about money that's made off of royal photo photographs. I think that's exactly what's going to happen there. That's the necessary outcome. That's what has to happen. All right. Um, let's see. True meaning. Next step. Necessary outcome. And then what is the, um, what's the surprise along the way? I'm always so interested in this card. What's the surprise along the way? Ooh, the magician in reverse. We saw this pop out, didn't we? All right. So the magician upright is about um, manifestation. Um, this is about uh, secrets. And the magician gives you all the tools you need to satisfy what it is you hope to do. And in reverse, it's about now having to go to even more devious um, levels. Now the manifestation is taking a little bit of a darker turn. A little bit of anger is coming into this. This is not going to be, this is not going to be um, a, a nice, gentle conversation back here. This is going to be, this is what needs to happen. And you guys better follow along. Because there, be, there are going to be some tricks along the way. There's going to be some devious, uh, devious dealing. And the manifestation that's gonna, that needs to happen, it, it's going to. This plan that William had, it, I get such a, such a strong energy from William here. He's in control of everything. The plan that William had to correct this injustice and to get things back into balance He's going to manifest it. By hook or by crook, this is going to happen. That's the surprise along the way. Everyone's going to be surprised at how, how strongly, how, how intensely he's going to fight for this. Okay. And then finally, what is the outcome going to be? What's the outcome going to be? Oh, the Queen of Wands in reverse. All right, this is Catherine. I said the whole time I didn't feel her energy. She's She's been here the whole time. Okay, the outcome is Catherine is mad. She's pissed. I put this on a post somewhere, some comment. I can't remember what, um, what I think I was watching the Mystical Fortunes, who's my teacher. I love her so much. If you haven't checked out her channel, please go check her out. Um, Catherine's taking notes. She is noting and taking notes. She's, she's, she's writing down names and, and names of publications, names of reporters, names of people who are treating her unfairly. And when she's queen, they better watch out. Because this was this, I mean, so big deal. They did some editing. They had a plan to try to correct an injustice and to get things back into balance. She's like, all right, you want to play dirty? You don't know what dirty is. Wow. I get such an energy of anger, and um, she's a Capricorn. She's going to get her revenge. She's going to get her. She's she's not going to let him get away with it. That's the outcome. You got a very mad queen on your hands against the press. Wow. Yep, she's taking names, and she won't forget them. She won't forget the people who have been so unfair to her. So that's my reading. Let's do a quick wrap up. All right. So what was the triggering factor? What was, what was the first triggering factor on this? It, it was how Diana was treated by the press. Talked about, made fun of. Her every mistake was absolutely dissected and blown out of proportion. And William was there on the second triggering factor. All William could do was watch. He couldn't do anything. What was the past event? And that was where um, they made a plan 
and and said I've got I've got to make some short term goals to get to the long term area of what we want where we want to go of correcting this injustice and trying to get things back into balance. And what was the current the current energy? And that is they were so satisfied they were so they believed so much that they had the right idea in mind. They were very almost a little bit too confident. I think that's what happened there. They got they were a little bit too confident about it. Um, and then what was the true meaning? It was it was Catherine saying, "I you know I, I don't even want to do this. What do I stay or do I go? What 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 do I do with this? Do I make a picture or just keep keep in the background?" And she almost didn't do it. She almost did not do this because she really didn't want to. She almost didn't sit down for that picture. And then what is the, um, what's the next step? The next step is they're going to talk more about what was behind the editing. I think it's going to be William um, who makes a statement to kind of explain a little bit of what was going on behind that. I don't know if they're going to reveal who actually did it. Catherine's fallen her, on her sword, and they may stay with that, but there's going to be some kind of another little explanation that's going to come out. And then what's the necessary um, the necessary conclusion? And that is that he's going to say to the press, you need to work with us. If we give you something, if you want to continue to make money off of the royal photographs and we give you one, you better give something back to us. You better not be so nasty and... and um, uh, ungrateful. Don't be an ingrate. Don't bite the hand that feeds you. That's exactly what this is. And then what's the surprise along the way? The surprise along the way is they're going to not realize, they're not going to expect how strongly, I, I want to say how viciously, um, how vicious Prince William will be about this. He's like, you're hurting my wife. I'm not going to allow that to happen. By hook or by crook, I'm going to make you guys fall into line. And then what's going to be the outcome? You're going to have a very mad queen. When she's queen, she's she may bide her time right now. But when she's queen, she's going to come down on them like a duck on a June bug, as we say in the South. I wouldn't want to be them. I would not want to be the press. And I'm talking about not just the British press, but the American press as well. Like, go ahead. Take all the bites out of me you want to, because I'm going to give it back. I'm going to give it back to you tenfold. I'm going to give it back to you way more than you've ever given it to me. Holy crap. All right, there's your reading. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Whew, this has been a little rough on me, but I'm glad I did this. Thank you so much, everybody. And for all the people I owe readings to, I think I have three or four uh, people I owe readings to from March 1st onward. So I promise you I'm going to get those done. This is going to be a little slow, but I hope to have them all done by the weekend. So just um, hang in there. Thank you guys so much. If you're a subscriber, thank you so much. I appreciate all my subscribers. If you're not, you need to subscribe. Come on. Y'all know you're always watching my videos. I know you like them, so just press the subscribe button. It's the only thing I ask of you because it does help me um, get more videos out to more people, and it helps increase the channel. So thanks again, everybody. We'll see you soon. I'm still going to do the astrological charts for Prince Harry and for um, King Charles. Um, and I'm, I might do one. I'm planning on this. I don't know what's going to come out, but I'm going to do an astrological chart comparison between um, Princess Catherine and Megan. I know I've talked a little bit before how their charts interact with each other and Megan's chart. Um, she has her son in Catherine's 12th house, which makes her an astrological hidden enemy of Catherine. She will always be an enemy of Catherine's no matter what happens. So I'm going to explore that a little more and look a little bit more on how their charts interact. See what the karma is between them. All right. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.